Drew Holiday right here hoping to get his team oh. a Game 2 Finals win tonight. Drew along with his brothers Justin and Aaron, all in the NBA, come from a family who loves the game of basketball. The one and only Ramona Shelburne has more. December 28, 2019. It was a historic day for the NBA and brothers Justin, Drew, and Aaron Holiday. First time in NBA history, three brothers on the floor. Here we go, the jersey exchange. You might say basketball is in the family's DNA. I like that dude like the kids are supposed to do. His parents, Toya and Sean, met as college basketball players at Arizona State in the early 1980s. Sean can still dunk at the age of 58. Toya was Pac-10 Player of the Year in 1982. Did you put a basketball in their hands or did they just start playing? We didn't put a basketball in their hands. Um, Sean and I both played ball, but um, they just, they played all different sports. They started off with soccer, they played baseball. They didn't like baseball, it was too boring. And so we tell them, you know, you don't have to play basketball because we play, you can play or do whatever you want. It just so happened, they, it worked out. <laughs> they liked basketball and they took it to another level. Justin is the oldest. Drew was born 14 months later. Younger sister Lauren, who played basketball at UCLA, is three years younger than Drew. Aaron is the youngest in the family, born seven years after Justin. And the age difference didn't stop the competition. We used to make up different type of games in the house all the time. Like we would play football and put pillows in our shirts and run and like tackle each other. We would play like floor hockey on the carpet with balls. We used to just go out there and try to jump off the trampoline and dunk. That was the only time I could dunk. I actually had a crazy experience jumping off my dad's car in the front yard. Cars were parked in front of the basketball hoop outside and we couldn't really play, but Aaron got up on the car and like tried to dunk and fell and ended up breaking, I think, his hand. And Aaron was kind of a wild one. We had to start telling our children, you can't dunk unless you can, on the ground, get up and really dunk. You can't use any other equipment. Me and Drew did play one-on-one -on -one a lot as kids, but we stopped for years because we, we ended up fighting. We can play football, we did like roller hockey. We did everything else, playing tag, and me and Justin wouldn't fight. But basketball, we were like, we were scrapped. Justin and Drew starred as teammates at Campbell Hall High School in Sherman Oaks, California. But it was Drew who developed into a blue chip recruit. I remember one time that Justin came to me and he says, you know what, I'm working hard and everybody's coming in the gym to see, to see Drew. I said, I know, we are gonna buy Drew a gift today. And he looked at me and said, what are you talking about? I'm trying to talk to you about my feelings. I said, baby, you know why? We're gonna thank Drew for whatever his talent is because guess what? Guess who they get to see also in that gym? You have the opportunity to do your best in line to in line. That's all. And hey, and thank your brother afterwards. Drew became the first holiday to play in the NBA when he was drafted by Philadelphia in 2009. Older brother Justin made it to the league in 2012. And in 2018, Aaron was drafted by the Pacers three brothers, all fulfilling their NBA dreams. I'll never take for granted for all three of us to be able to do that. And to me, it doesn't matter that we're the first to do it or the last, just the fact that like we're able to play, play against each other or be on the same court as, as one another is really, really cool. In game one, Chris Paul and Devin Booker look to avoid taking Drew Holiday one-on-one -on -one and instead hunted for more favorable matchups. That duo combined to go just three of nine with Holiday defending in 59 matchups and were far more aggressive against all other Bucks. First of all, that's a beautiful feature. I just want to say that Ramona Shelburne, yes. hell of a job, no mm -hmm. question about it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful family doing special, special things. That's what I peeled from it. It was just a lovely thing to see. How did you feel about the piece, Mike? I mean, we know about the Holiday Brothers because we, we, we're covering the sport. Yes. We, we keep up with them. I love the parents. Yes. I just love hearing, I mean, the, the, the passion, the intellect, the yes. toughness. Yes. You know, there was some tough love in there. Right. It wasn't all just pat on, pats on the back. Tough love with Drew. And look at the and results, And Drew man. to uplift the other kids. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. Great. Mama knows best. Mama knows best. What about you, Perk? 
I love the piece. And look, Drew Holiday is one of is is my is one of the top five, one of my top five favorite players, teammates of all time. I played with him in New Orleans. Great guy on and off the court. One of the best individuals to be around. Will I'll go back to you. How big of an impact does Drew Holiday need to have in game two tonight, both offensively and defensively? Well, this coach has to let him. Mm. I mean, he's the one who should be looking at Chris Paul yeah. and Devin Booker, depending on who else is in the lineup, eye to eye. Right. Not not Brooke Lopez, not Bobby Porter. And those guys, I feel bad because those guys are terrific defensive players, Stephen right. A. Yeah. But not when you put them in that position. They shouldn't be in that position. Drew Holiday has earned this. That's why they went out and got him. Yeah. It's one of the reasons they went out and got Drew Holiday for moments in a series like this. So we'll see, you know, how much he's going head to head with Chris Paul. Tonight. Perk, your thoughts about what kind of impact Drew Holiday needs to have tonight, real quick, my brother. Well, one on the defensive side of things, we know when Drew Holiday is engaged, he's picking up full court. We witnessed that throughout the course of this playoffs. Offensively, I'm rolling with Wilborn, Stephen A. Who knows it has to put Drew Holiday in position to be successful while Giannis and Middleton are on the floor? He has to call sets for him. Last game in game one, there was too much standing around. They were using him as a spot-up shooter. We saw when Giannis was out, we saw what Drew Holiday was capable of doing offensively, scoring buckets. He has to get Drew involved and put that man in position to be successful. I'm glad y'all both highlighted that because when I was talking about Drew Holiday and his defensive performance in game one, people sounded as if I was saying I was blaming him for it. It wasn't his fault. It was no, the position his all. coach put him in. We know, we know Drew no. Holiday ain't running from defending anybody. We know that much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.